Scientific truth is a moving target. The theories, laws, and facts of science are treated as temporary truth and can be overturned at any time and replaced with new temporary truth. In short, science does not generate truth, but rather useful explanations. By contrast, God's word is unchanging truth. Let's take a look. The English word science can simply mean knowledge. This video series uses the word science to mean that which scientists practice, physics, chemistry, biology, evolution, geology, and so forth. Science is mankind's flawed and incomplete attempt to understand and explain nature. Science is often seen as unbiased, where the personal beliefs of the scientist do not affect his scientific work. Science is also seen as a source of truth. Both thoughts are incorrect. Science is biased. Science is not a source of truth. Dr. Paul Belke, a creationist with his doctorate in biology education, wrote, science does not generate truth, but rather useful explanations. You may be amazed to learn that evolutionists also describe science that way. As example, two leading scientists, both evolutionists, wrote in their college science textbook that philosophers of science generally agree that a scientific approach cannot generate truth. This science textbook also teaches that science is a human venture where scientists bring their personal biases into their science. These evolutionists even write that science may not result in the absolute final truth on anything. A related example is from a professor of physics at the University of California. He discusses confirmation bias, where a scientist chooses observations, calculations, and conclusions that support his favorite ideas and minimizes other possibilities. He writes, no one is immune from confirmation bias, and scientists, despite what you may think, are rarely mere gatherers of facts, dispassionately following data wherever it may lead. No scientists are human, often too human. Did you know that science is sometimes wrong? Indeed, it is constantly correcting itself. Theories and laws of science, which are called the facts of science, explain observational evidence. If a theory or law no longer satisfactorily explains all observations, well, it's replaced by a new theory or law. For example, it was found that Newton's law of gravity did not explain all observations. So it was replaced by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Creationists sometimes make the claim evolution is only a theory. It is not proven. The people making this incorrect claim lack a basic knowledge of scientific terminology. What they need to understand is scientific theories do not become laws when they accumulate additional evidence. Rather, the laws and the theories of science are considered scientific facts because those laws and theories are overwhelmingly accepted as such by the scientific community. In science, the terms theory and law and fact are all treated as temporary truth, which can be overturned at any time and replaced with another temporary truth. We should use scientific terms correctly, describe the theory of evolution correctly, and stay within the limits of our scientific knowledge. Speaking incorrectly about science can harm our gospel ministry. Now, people may wonder, well, if this person is wrong about science, are they also wrong about Jesus? You know, as mentioned before, science is sometimes wrong, and evolution is an example. We can be certain that evolution is wrong when it claims the universe is billions of years old. We can be certain of that when it claims one kind of animal can change into a new kind of animal. And we can be certain that evolution is wrong when it claims hydrogen gas changed into people all by itself. Why are we certain? Christians who trust God and his word know with certainty that these claims are wrong because these things are contrary to scripture. Evolution is the deception of Satan used to pull God's children, you and me, away from trust in Jesus. It is through faith that we believe in creation. Beyond our faith, our human reason can help us to see the logical weaknesses of evolution. The temptation of evolution is reduced when we know how weak the evidence for evolution really is. Now, sometimes evolutionists speak very frankly about evolution. 
At those times, evolutionists pull back the curtain to reveal that the evidence for evolution is not nearly as strong as they claim. In video two, we learn that evolutionists describe the theory of evolution as historical science and a historical narrative, which is largely based on concepts and written without using scientific laws. Another example of evolution is speaking frankly about evolution and the truth of its claims is found in a college textbook on evolution. After discussing whether or not evolution follows the scientific method, the author concluded with these amazing words. Biologists continue to undertake evolutionary investigations, whether the methodology is philosophically correct or not. And then a third example comes from Richard Dawkins, who holds a doctorate in biology and is an international champion of evolution. He wrote many books to prove evolution is true. In one of his books, Dawkins wrote that he is satisfied to have an implausible theory of evolution. In another book, he wrote that evolution is a leap of imagination so large that to this day, many people seem unwilling to make it. In Romans chapter 1, 18 to 23, God tells us that all people know a powerful God exists because they learn that from what God has created. The fact that nature testifies about God may be what led atheist Richard Dawkins to write that our brains seem predisposed to resist Darwinism and instead believe in a creator God. God also reveals in these passages that those who, like Dawkins, reject their creator God, claim to be wise and try to suppress the truth, becoming fools as they replace their creator God with gods that they themselves have made. Dawkins, claiming to be wise, suppresses the truth and asks us to make a very large leap of imagination by rejecting our creator God and instead being satisfied with an implausible theory, a theory invented by people. Pray for those blinded by unbelief, that everyone would accept their creator God whom they see in nature, and their savior God whom they see in scripture. Until the next time, God bless.